Right, I've emerged from that long track there. I've still got a bit of tracking to do. But, um... Here we've got the area of outstanding beauty in front of me over there. And then I'm carrying on up that track for a bit yet. But if you followed that track there, it would take you around the base of Robero Warren. You, there's a path you can follow there. Um, see that path there? I'll just zoom in. See that path? That path, you can follow that all the way around to Robero Warren Wood where, you, where there'll be a sign where you can either go into the Warren and roam about all over the place or you can carry on following the sidetrack in the shade out of the sun and climb up as if you were going to, to Tynings Farm so, I, so that's what stage we're at at the moment I've got to go up a little bit further in the cool still because I'm going to be joining um, the lower track across the area of Outstanding Beauty, the Black Down Hills, opposite, if you like, Burrington Coombe, which has a road running separating us. Running up through the Coombe is a road. I'm on one side and Barrington Coombe is on the other. We've got to go a little bit further up until we come to another gap, like back there, which I then have to branch off, hoping I can remember the way. It is quite straightforward once I get there. <laughs> You, I can still do it, but it's longer. If I decided to just stay on here, this takes you down to Barrington Coombe, by the way. If you stay on this track all the way, and it goes down quite steeply at one point, <coughs> it would take you down to where there's, um, I think there's a pub, there's a cafe. Not far away would be the church. Uh, places where you can climb up the other side of Barrington Coombe. Or if you want to walk to Bleeden, or Bla Blagden, I mean. There are lots of other walks. I always get a bit muddled up when it comes to some of the open spaces, especially in the in the summer. <clears throat> especially if I haven't done it for a while. See, this is an open space, but I don't know if it's this one I've got to branch off. Because otherwise you can end up walking into a load of bracken, you see. See, for example, look. There's no way there is a path there. That could be the one I should follow. We just have a quick look. Wait a minute. But otherwise, you've got to walk through lots of bracken up to your neck, almost. We just have a look. No, I'm not going to go through there. I'm not going to go through there. If necessary, we'll do the slightly longer route. We're just keeping on this wide path and then going up a bit. I, th I don't think that's the one back there anyway. I think it's further up. I think it's a bit further up near uh, another sort of tree. It's not far from round here though. You see there's a, there's a track there. I, I just got this feeling it's up here though. What I'm saying, there's loads and loads of little tracks that bend off. But you can end up in very enclosed spaces with the bracken. So I've got a feeling mine is a bit further up. Now in, in the winter you can see it more clearly. The bracken's all died down and you can see all the tracks. I've just got a feeling it's a bit further up my one. But anyway, you can still do it this way. You can still do it. I've got a feeling my branch off here, yeah. I reckon I do. Yeah, this is where I branch off. So you've got to remember that. <clears throat> now, if you carry on that way to the left, on the wider track, that will take you down to Barrington Coombe. You'll join up with what I call the parade, a big track that comes down from the top of the area of Outstanding Beauty up there. As you can see, the ferns are very high. They're probably full of adders. 
And the sort of tracks I'm going to be following across now will be, <coughs> at times, narrow. But I'm hoping mainly like this. So this is just to give you an idea of this video. I don't know if this is four or five. I'm not sure. I can't remember. And of course in the winter as well, this will be very muddy. All these little gullies will be filled with water. If it's a bit shaky as I'm holding the camera with one hand and the stick in the other hand. Um, I tend to put the stick under my arm when I'm doing photos and occasionally I will walk and hold the camera steady. Steadier. So here we go everyone, you can just smell the heat. You can smell, see it's already a little bit boggy. Still a bit boggy, look how... And there are bogs here, there's also potholes that you could disappear down, so you've got to be very careful to keep to the main tracks. Yeah, I always remember this little bit under the trees. Now you see... Yeah, it's quite wide along here, as you can see. And there's a nice view over there, look. There's a few people out. Right ahead of me now, we've got Barrington Coombe. I'll just zoom in on that a minute. There's Barrington Coombe, that's a good view of it from here. You can walk on that side, by the way. And then you've got all the areas of outstanding beauty around you. Up there, look. All across the top there. And back there as well. Right, over and out. Just going to turn off a minute, someone coming. <laughs> 